Oh, this is coming out sick. Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today we have a little DIY project for you, and that's because I'm going to be building a frag rack. I am super tired of all the frags on the bottom of my tank flipping over. I have nowhere to put them. Stuff keeps burying them in the sand, and every single day I got to go in there and fix them, and it's super annoying, and it's not a long-term goal. So I want to build a little frag rack out in the corner of the tank so that way I hopefully eliminate having to do this over and over every single day. The only problem is I am pushed for time because I'm getting picked up in about an hour to head out for a gig and I wanted to make sure to get this done for you guys. So we're going to be building this frag rack in under an hour. Let the time start now. See like all the frags just pile up on top of each other. Some of the, like it's, it's just not good. I have like frags back there. It's just like a whole issue. I'm thinking of putting it right back there in that corner and just using the stuff that I have available right now. Frag plugs, soaking, zip ties from my cable management that I bought a bunch of them, the glue, and then I had this old MagnaFlow, MagFlow magnet that I don't use anymore because it scratches the glass. I don't plan to keep this as the long-term holder just because it's big and bulky. The, I have seen little like circle magnets, so I will switch to that for a bit of a cleaner look down the road, I just didn't have time to order them, and I the, I have the ones from the lights from last week, if you guys remember, but I'm not sure if they're waterproof, so I don't wanna like stick them in the tank, and then it starts like, you know, giving up a bunch of bad stuff to my corals. So I figured it was better to just use the MagnaFlow for now, at least I can make the frag rack, and then once I order those magnets, I could just easily swap them out and make it nice and clean. By the way, if you're new here, we drop new fish videos every single Friday, so if that's something you like and you want to keep seeing, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. It really helps me out. We got it. Maybe. Yeah, right here. Oh, they only have these big ass ones? I guess this will do. What the hell am I gonna do with all this? I guess I gotta get this one. We got the goods, folks. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out here. We're gonna get right to it. So I gotta cut this down because it is just way too big. I'm gonna just hand measure this. I want it to be, oh, look at that. My big ass hands, it's perfect. Now, if I wasn't pressed for time and this was gonna be a permanent fixture, Obviously, you would want to go a little bit slower, care a little bit more, and do these a little bit cleaner. You'd also have a whole entire crate to keep trying until you don't break like one of the boxes. But like I said, I'm on a time crunch. This is just a temporary solution. I will make this all better in the future. The dikes don't get all the way to the edge. A lot of people grind it down, which is a good thing. I don't have a grinder, so I'm not going to do that part. But it's a if you do have something available, and again, if you're making this permanent, I would definitely recommend to like file those all off. So this one is gonna go like here and then I need the bottom piece where the magnet is gonna attach to. So it could go like that and then they would tie wrap together. I don't have to do the whole thing, I don't think. I'm gonna do like, how big is this magnet? Probably do eight, eight long. Hit the stars for the fudge for the evening. I did this the opposite way that I wanted to. I wanted this to be the clean side like this, but that would have to be on that side of my tank. So we're gonna go like this. We get our handy dandy tie wraps. Just kind of getting it to hold in place right now. There you go. It's even a little adjustable depending on where you want it. And now this ugly ass magnet. Oh no, is it stuck together? Oh, I didn't plan for this. There we go. For this magnet, I am also going to, I'm also going to zip tie him onto here. A lot of people melt the magnet itself and like melt it to the frag rack. I'm not trying to do all that. Okay. Make sure these guys are tight. I can't make this up. I'm just that good at basketball. Come on. Two for two. 
Oh, I missed. Mess around and turn this into a fish tank trick shots channel. Test that this, perfect. Granted, there's not glass in here, but it's a connection. It doesn't have to be like super duper strong, but it works. Oh, this is coming out sick. All right, I think we're ready to put it in. All right, so because this thing is so like wonky, obviously you don't wanna be sliding egg crate around on your glass and stuff. So I'm gonna try to put it as close to where I'm putting it as possible. Thing falls down. <laughs> I have so many zoas in here, they don't even go in. Come on. That's gonna fall off anyway. These guys are. There we go. Look how cute that thing is. It's not a perfect frag rack, it's just a temporary. temporary solution. Let's see what happens with these guys. I'm gonna use these because I'm having to stick my arm way down in there. These might fall through. Oh, they didn't. This guy can go up there. You know what I'm saying, guys? Grafted Monty. He can go up here. Another Monty. That looks nice. I kind of like the little white in the corner because it also brings a bunch of random colors up here. I haven't had luck gluing like capped stuff to things. They always, they always end up sliming off. No. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you. The catches I got are out of this world. Give him a second. Let's try to grab this one a little better, huh? This is exciting. There it is. That's the final... Frag rack look, it is holding everything fine. It's, it's tilted because of the tie wraps, but everything, it's, it's holding on there sturdy. Those couple little frags that I just glued seem to be holding, which is good, we'll see. It's kind of a little bit out of the flow area too, so they won't be getting like smashed with crazy flow. No more frags on the floor. I left that one there on purpose because I think it's kind of dead, but I just wanted, to, I don't know. But floor's looking cleaner, fish tank's looking clean. Frag rack is nice in that corner. So the little magnets would prevent this big magna flow from popping out. Since they're so small, you could just super glue them to the actual frag rack so you don't have to even use tie wraps for that portion. It's not that ugly from this side on the outside. I like it. So that's it guys, that is the quick DIY under $20 frag rack that you guys can do at home, mostly using stuff that you probably already have except for the egg crate. I mean, unless you carry egg crate on the regular at your house, then hey, you have that too. So you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if it helped you out, if it gave you some ideas to do something different. My ride is here, I gotta go, but we will see you guys next week. Later. Take a little step, get the